Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. How to differentiate between attention-seeking women and women that truly like you. This is probably one of the biggest challenges that I'm seeing that most guys are facing. And I'm, I'll be 100% honest with you guys. I think that even myself, I have to like constantly readjust my strategies <laughs> to find, is a girl really just trying to get my attention? Does she really like me? So we're going to talk about it today. Um, I'm going to let you guys come and join and I'm going to I'm gonna see what you guys think. Uh, maybe you can give me some examples of whether or not you're not sure if this girl likes you or not. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Two things. I'm going to post the link to join the stream. It's already in the chat. And I'm going to give you a number to text me if you maybe want to send me a screenshot of messages between you and a girl and you're not sure whether she likes you or not. Cool. So that's what I'm going to do. So here's the number. If you're talking to a girl right now, right? If you're talking to a girl right now and you're not sure whether she likes you or not, you're trying to figure it out. So I'm, this is the number you can text me. Send me a screenshot because I feel like I'm, I'm hearing this very, very often from guys. I don't know if this girl likes me. I don't know if she's trying to use me for attention. So here's the number. Text me your pictures right there. Text me your screenshots right there. And then I'll review it. I'll let you know if the girl is wasting your time, if she's just trying to lead you on. This is the number to text me. How do you differentiate between if a girl likes you or is just attention seeking? Women are master, master attention seekers, guys. Masters. And if you don't have the right filters in place to figure out which one she really is, you are finally going to deal with a girl. Like, I'm going to tell you guys something. The more successful I've gotten, the more I'm dealing with this. The more I'm dealing with this. So text me your pictures. Text me your pictures. Um, let me bring the first guy. Everybody text me your pictures if you're trying to figure out if a girl likes you or not. Uh, Amar, what's good, bro? Amar. Amar, I don't know what's going on with your audio. Amar. Amar. Hello? Can you hear me? I don't know what's going on with Amar, guys. All right. Let's see if you guys have texted me. How to differentiate between a woman that actually likes you and a woman who is just seeking attention. Okay, so if you're confused by that, if you're dealing with a girl, you're texting the girl right now that you don't know whether she likes you or she's just using you for attention, send me a screenshot of the conversation or click the link in the beginning to come join and, and tell me what's going on so I can help you out. This is the link to join the stream. One second. This is the link to join the stream. This is a link to join the stream. And this is the number to text me. If you want to text me a conversation you're having with a girl and you're not sure whether she's trying to use you for attention or not, text me your pictures here. Okay? Text me that number. Text me that number. I want to I want to know what y'all are going through. Cuz I'm going through the shit too. <laughs> Dre. You muted, G. What's going on, brother? What's going on, man? Nothing. Uh well, I just want to say uh I think how I can tell if a girl wants attention or not is how quick she'll hang out with me and then what we what we do when we hang out. Um, mm. cause I think sometimes, uh, you'll hang out with a girl and she doesn't want to do anything, but she wants you to go pay for her to go do stuff. I think that's attention. But what do you mean? Like she wants you to buy her shit? Yeah. She wants you to go buy her some food or buy her something nice at the mall. I think that's attention. So she, you think she'll go out with you and then try to get you to buy her shit? 
but but she won't go home with you. Mm. She won't go anywhere uh, private with you. She'll just go. She'll just make her presence. She'll just come out, but she won't make it intimate. Right. Correct. Correct. That's what I would say. I mean, that's another thing that guys don't understand, right? So a woman going on a date with you doesn't necessarily mean anything right. <laughs> in today's world. It's getting so challenging. It's getting so difficult, guys. That's why I'm telling y'all, man, y'all have to be on top of it because women will go out with you and have no interest in never sleeping with you. Women will go out with you and be fucking three to four dudes. So you got to have these, you got to have these, you can't be fucking around, man. You can't right. be fucking around. But, but I will say like, I think for me too, like I have like really strong like filters, like test okay. stuff. But I think it's probably good not having too strong because I think mine are so strong. Like I'll go days without even talking to any girls for a little bit, and then like the weekend will happen, I'll, I'll find new ones or something. But like I don't think it should. I mean, that's not no, that's not it. No, that's, no, because you're not. You need to be in momentum. Be so. It sounds like you you're fucking something that pissed you off and you stopped dealing with women for a little bit. No, 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 no. I, I like, so it's not like that per se. It's more like, I think it's more on the paranoid side. Like, like you just hear so many things about girls that it's like, oh, that's, I, that's I, even I worse. This. I don't know about her no more. And then you'd be like, oh, well, she liked me. She'll, she'll, we'll talk again. It just don't happen. Right. So I, I mean, I got to work on myself. It's just like, not you being can't, you can't let women get you paranoid though. You can't let women get you because they're always gonna be doing some fuck shit. So that 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 shouldn't deter you to what you just don't talk to them for a few days. Because when you talk to them the next time, they didn't change. You gotta learn how to live with women. Right, right. Yeah, I, I think a lot of them got a lot of stuff that they do that I necessarily don't like, but like some of it I should like put up with a little bit. Some of you, some of you should put up with a little bit like what? Well, I think for me, like texting, like I don't really like the text, but then they want to text. But then when I do want to text and I start texting, then it just don't work out type deal. Like it's like I just rather not deal with texting at all. But like maybe she like want to text you, like that's good. Like, like you should just deal with it at some capacity. Just don't go, don't go crazy like scent mode. If that okay. makes sense. It's All like right. a type type thing. I, I'm still trying to figure it out myself though. Okay. No worries. <laughs> I mean, it don't it still sounds like you're letting women dictate everything. Like you're you're letting her dictate whether or not um you're gonna text her this time or you're gonna deal with it this time. Like either you're not gonna deal with it or you're gonna deal with it. Either you're gonna say, hey. I don't text that much. Let's get to know each other in person. Or you're just not going to, like, you're still letting women do, you're still letting women dictate how you operate. Mm, that's fair. Right. Okay. All right. Let me get to somebody else. All right, yes, G. Sir. Appreciate you. All right. Everybody else, turn on your camera. Um, If you have a, an interaction with a woman right now, nobody else is doing this shit on the internet, guys. If you have an interaction with a woman right now and you're confused on whether or not she likes you or not, or she's using you for attention, send me a screenshot. Send me a screenshot. Text this number right here. Text this number right here. Text this number right here, guys. Let me know. I want to see if, if you're confused whether or not the girl likes you or not. Text this number right here. If you have a story or an interaction, right, you can join the stream and come ask about it. That's the topic of today. Differentiating whether a woman likes you or not. How do you, how can you tell? Okay. All right. We got the first guy that uh, sent me a message. Somebody blew me. Somebody sent me a message with a kiss. Some some spam. Look at this shit. Look at this nonsense, guys. Here we go with the nonsense today. 
Here we go with the nonsense today. It's already started. The nonsense has already started. The nonsense has already started. I'm not even going to show the person's number. <laughs> I'm not even going to show the person's number. I, don't, yeah. I can't even hide it. But anyway. <sighs> Look at this. Anyway, let's go to the let's go to the messages uh he wants to know if this girl likes him or not if she's wasting his time i miss i miss you pepe they go i miss you pepe i miss i miss us yes blank great pictures maybe one day You'll be with me back in blank. What do you think about broke up and end this as easy as it does? Because you're so... What the fuck y'all talking about? Is this English? Y'all, you are so busy and you will not miss anything. I am busy. And you know that's not true. I know I miss us, so don't say that. If you want to break up, then I understand. You know I don't want to break up, but you will not understand what I'm feeling every day and night and always, Pepe. <laughs> what is this? What is it? Was she 12 years old? All right, let's keep going. There's more. Okay. Well, I'm free, so we will talk on the phone about this, and you tell me what you feel. I don't have anything. I'm just looking at our pictures and again and again. What? So what is going on, bro? So did y'all break up? Did y'all not break up? What is she talking about? She just looking at y'all pictures again. It sounds like y'all already broke up, and she she looked at the pictures today, and she she wanted to get some free validation from your ass, so she she wrote you. She wrote you and said, "Hey, I miss I miss you, Pepe. I miss us." When in reality, she just she don't really give a fuck. She just saw the pictures and she wanted to get some free attention. Anytime you break up with a girl. And she hits you back up. Don't think that now nah, you got her. See, a lot of motherfuckers would think, oh, no contact, no contact. She's reaching out to me now, fit. I won. No, she's reaching out to you to see if you're still a dumbass. She's, she's reaching out to you to see if you're a dumbass. If you're going to fall for it. And you fell for it. You go, okay, well, I'm free. So we will talk on the phone about this. And you will tell me what you feel. What? Why are you talking to her on the phone? Y'all broke up. You fell for the bait. She don't miss you. She missed them pictures. That's what the fuck she missed. So he goes, don't know. Don't know if she just wants me for attention or genuinely likes me. She was upset I wasn't giving her enough validation and attention and, and thought I didn't care. No, we didn't break up. She was saying, should we break up since I wasn't given enough attention? So what I would say is this. I would tell her uh, if she needs me to be talking to her 24-7, I won't be the guy for her. I won't. It ain't going to be me. Go find a motherfucker that got time to talk to you all day. All right? So... If if she's if a woman even suggests a breakup, okay, baby, maybe you're right. It sounds like she's trying to scare you. She's trying to scare you to get what she wants. And that can never work, bro. You have to stand 10 toes down in what you believe in. She might not like it or she, she might respect it. All right, so don't fall for that. If you're not talking to the girl at all, maybe that's the issue. There's a give, there's there's a little bit of give and take here. So in every relationship, you got to give a little. Right? You got Basil, are you smoking in my life? Did I just see smoke come out of your nose, bro? Did I just see smoke come out of your nose? Or did you just vape? Did you just vape in my fucking life just now? 
Tell me the truth, bro. Tell me the truth. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Did you just vape in my fucking live? Then what was that smoke that just came out of your nose? Huh? What was it? Water vapor. I'm going to ban you for lying. Now you're a liar. Now you just lie. His mind just said water vapor came out of his nose. What the fuck, bro? So you're going to just lie to me. Anyway, back to my man. Don't fall for the bait. If she's trying to, if she's, if she wants more of your attention, let her know that you're a busy dude and you can't see her all the time. Um, but you won't be manipulated into getting into, oh, break up. And now if you feel like that way, no problem. Let's break up. Let's break up. If that's how you feel. If that's how you feel. All right. Okay, I got another guy with a question. This one was a message. He goes, I've been hitting. I've been hitting it off with this girl and so far so good. She's been checking. She's been checking all the boxes for what I want in a woman. But my only concern is. I'm unsure of her past. And for me, if you have too many bodies, that's a deal breaker. I asked her how many she has, and she took a little second to answer. And when I asked again, after we fucked a couple of days after, to shit test her, she corrected herself from the first time and said it was actually six now, including me. Her action has been showing she doesn't get around, but should I be tripping over this or what should I do? Um, She lying, obviously. You never ask... You never ask a girl what her uh, body count is because she's going to lie regardless. That's a, you, you, asking a woman her body count is a sign of insecurity and not because of what these fucking three or fours tell y'all. Oh, you should never ask a woman about her body count. No, 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 no. I want you to know her body count, but I want you to know it in a different way. Because uh, she can't be fucking 50 dudes and be fucking with me. Right? So, you don't want to come across like the reason why you don't want to ask her body count is one, she's going to lie. Two, she now knows, right, that you might want something with her long term. So you're showing your cards. The way you figure out a woman's body count is to pay attention to her behavior over a long period of time. Don't look at what been, what's been happening over the last month. That shit don't mean nothing. What has been going on over the last six months, year? Who is she really? When shit gets rough with you, is she going to act the same way? All right. So be, pump the brakes. Don't ask her what a body count is. You, it, that's indirectly pushing for a relationship. She knows that men care about body count. You can tell a thought by, by how she acts. You can tell that I'm very guys. <laughs> one thing about me with women and these girls watch my videos now, so I can't even hide nothing no more. Anything I tell you every girl I'm fucking with is going to see it anyways. So, oh, well, I'm going to say it. what I do with girls, guys, pay attention. What I do with girls in the initial phase is I play, I play, I play the, the, the wolf in sheep clothing. Right. So I kind of encourage thought behavior <laughs> to see which one she's participating in. <laughs> Yay. Call it toxic, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't care. I'm not going to get finessed. What I do is if we're talking about sexual past, I just like, yeah, I'm like, man, what you what you've done? You 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 might be boring, right? Trying to get her to open up and say shit about what she's actually done. Right, and I'll be encouraging you, like, man, you, you never had a threesome? Oh, that's kind of boring. And I, I would I would encourage her to get open up and tell me more. So she thinks that I actually like that kind of shit. Well, what I'm really doing is just trying to get disqual I'm trying to disqualify you. I'll put you in a different category. Women do it too, guys. 
Hey, we ain't, I ain't doing nothing that women don't do. Women do it too. Women ask you, just tell me the truth. Tell me what you're looking for. Are you looking for just sex? And the moment you tell them, yeah, baby, I just want to fuck, they, they, they block you. <laughs> so women use the same strategy. All right? Women love saying whole stories. They just don't want to be judged for it. Exactly. You're going to be the guy that doesn't judge. You're going to be the guy that acts like you. You're going to act like a simp. You're going to pretend to be a simp so she can tell you the shit that she's done. Right. So you can disqualify her or put her in a category of a girl you wouldn't take seriously. Does that make sense? Because otherwise you wouldn't get the truth. My bad. A uh, uh, a sheep, no, yeah, a wolf in sheep's clothing, yeah. Meaning, I'm I understand game, but I'm gonna pretend like I don't. I understand female nature, but I, I'm gonna pretend like I don't. And the unfortunate thing for me, guys, is that I can't really pretend that much because women see my content. You motherfuckers can pretend all y'all want to. <laughs> y'all can y'all can act like y'all don't know shit about girls, and then you get the real her. That sounds like being a best friend. I didn't say I wasn't going to be fucking her, bro. I, I'm talking about a girl I'm I'm seeing and dating. And I'm going to be trying to get some ammo to put her in a different category. Women will take a lie to the grave. If they feel like their lie will get them judged. Be mindful of that. They will take that lie to the grave if they feel like that lie will, will get them judged. If they feel like what they're telling you will get you will get them some cool points. Oh, he might he he like freaky girls. Let me tell them what I do. And then she tells me who the real her is, and then now I know who she really is. All right. That's just the method that I recommend you guys use so you know the real girl. Oh, my Lord. Here we go with another guy. Me and my girlfriend been dating for four and a half years. Oh, Lord. <laughs> she decided to travel for a couple of days to Houston to see job opportunities for her career as an accountant. She came back yesterday, but she's been acting super weird. And I was confused and I started sobbing to her. You started sobbing? You started crying to her? <laughs> oh my Lord. I started sobbing to her because I think she was cheating on me. I don't know if she did. She said nothing happened, but I got her flowers today because she got mad at me for accusing her of cheating. Okay. That's wrong. She probably did cheat. She probably did cheat. Um, a lot of women can't hide their behaviors, bro. What I'm starting to understand, guys, is some women do know how to hide their behavior. Some women will cheat on you and still know how to hide it. Some women will cheat on you and the guilt will, will force them to act different. So what probably happened is she fucked another dude. She went out with somebody. It's Houston, bro. She probably went out to the clubs. First of all, why does she need to go to Houston? Hold up, hold up. Slow the fuck down. Slow the fuck down. Here comes the lie right here. I just caught it. My bad, guys. I might be, I might be, I might be a little slow today. But I'm I'm way too good for this shit to not have caught this. In the uh, uh, to not have caught this quickly. Uh, who the fuck needs to go to another city to see job opportunities? Hold the fuck up there, guys. Hold up now. Hold up now. It's 2024. Who needs to go to the city to get job opportunities to see job opportunities? You do you do that shit online. Let me wake up. Took me a second to catch that. Hold the hell up. Which job opportunities you need to go and see? You need to go to the fucking city to go see the job opportunities? I don't even make no fucking sense. 
you see job opportunities online. They interview you online and offer you the job or not. Oh, what happened? Ah, come on, man. Even I, even I fell for it for a second. As an accountant, too. As an accountant, too. How the fuck I didn't catch that? How the fuck I didn't catch that? What the fuck you need to go see as an accountant? Everything you're going to be doing is online. Man, listen what listen to what happened, bro. Listen to what happened, bro. She been fucking with this dude in Houston. He told her to come through. She lied. He wore her ass out the entire weekend and the and the and the the excuse was she was going to be at a job opportunity. She lied, bro. That was all cap. <laughs> That's all cap. Ain't no fucking an accountant, ain't nobody, ain't no accounting firm flying your ass in to come see opportunities. You look that shit up online. They're not outsmarting us. We just got to catch the fuck up. We, we, is it our women, our women still outsmarting us? It's not, it's that dudes are not getting no ass. So it's it, NAS, baby. So dudes are out here struggling. All right, so yeah, you got you you got caught up, G. She fucked you up. She fucked the dude. She smashed the dude, and then you know, she tried to make you feel bad about it. All right, let me bring somebody on here, Mister Vapor, Brazil. What's up, Vapor? Yes, hello, hello. So, first of all, are you going to admit that you were lying to me? Or are you going to tell me it's still water vapor? Hey, look look at this, look at this. See this? How does I, water vapor come out of your nose? I drink water. This bottle, this bottle is. Yeah. Oh. No, nah, mine's bigger, mine's bigger. Okay, so I've never in my life had water vapor come out of my nose. <laughs> That's a fucking lie. Bro, come on, G. You see this are condensation? You... you see the bubbles on the on the... Bro, come on, bro. Come, Basil. I'm not. Stop talking to me like I'm these hoes, bro. <laughs> that's that's actually disrespectful. The my fact God. that you think the fact that you think that I'm gonna believe you that water vapor is coming out of your nose. My Why don't you tell me the truth? What were you doing? <clears throat> uh, cigar. Then why didn't you? Why did you lie? Why did you lie to me? That's very. That's very untrustworthy. You didn't lie. It's it's. Uh... You didn't lie. That's exactly what you just did. I mean, cigars are. Uh, Why did you say water vapor, though? Why did you tell me water? Like that, that initial instinct for you to lie is a is a flaw. <laughs> so what was I supposed to say? Tell the truth. <laughs> My bad fit. I, I I'm smoking. I shouldn't be doing this shit, but I did it. Yeah, my bad. What's your question, man? Uh. Well, I, I don't even have a question to be honest. I just have my camera on. Okay. Now get your life together, man. Cigars, are, cigars, they, they they can give you cancer too. They give you vitamin, vitamin C. They can give you cancer too. Smoking gives you cancer, you know that, right? Of course. All right, man. Have a good one. I might ask a question, but that's in a bit. I might send it in the private chat. Okay. Cool. Peace. Guys, we can't, we can't, we got it. Don't lie to me, man. I'm, 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 I'm the one trying to help you be a better man. Lying to me is crazy. Okay. We got another one. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I was dating this one girl and it was smooth for about a year and six months. Then I realized she will comment on local rapper stuff and will always try to leave over little things and I will take her back. And on the second year, I realized enough was enough. So I left and started working out and focusing on myself. Yeah, she was fucking other dudes. Commenting on local rapper stuff, any one of them dudes that wanted to fuck her, he would have fucked her. 
any one of them dudes that wanted to fuck her. Guys, you cannot tolerate fan behavior from women. My chick is not going to be no fan of another man. That's fucking insane. These dudes be doing these fucking interviews, guys, and be fucking, yeah, my girl can get a hall pass for her celebrity cross. <laughs> we looking like, what is this fucking cuck standing next to this girl saying? You looking at me telling me that you could, you would let your girl fuck another man because of a hall pass. Do you see how brainwashed society has made men? You will be called insecure, bro, for, 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 for having an issue with your girl fucking another dude because he's a celebrity. Shit is crazy. Might as well watch. Exactly. This shit is fucking insane. And dudes will sit up there and be looking, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll let her get a hall pass. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what kind of cuck ass shit is this? Like, what the f men have become? Let's look, look at what we have turned into, guys. We've turned into cucks. Why? Because of pornography. Pornography has made it more common for you to be okay watching another man. Guarantee you, that's why. Guarantee you. Gar no other fucking way. Pornography has made you more comfortable watching another man get pleasure. So now your that has been fucking programmed in your mind. So now you're okay. Let me talk about something real quick. And nobody was really talking about this shit, right? But I, in my mind, I laughed at it, right? I mean, let me talk about this real quick. When 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 Drake. Guys, follow me here, right? Follow me with this. When Drake, they said Drake was going viral for his picture. They had guys on the internet looking up another man's penis. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even want to talk about this. I was like, this is no fucking way. They have grown men on the fucking internet searching up another man's dick and reacting to, 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 reacting to another man's penis. If that doesn't tell you that this shit is fucking over, I don't know what is. These motherfuckers was reacting to another man showing his wee-wee. Think about how many dudes was doing that shit. That's fucking crazy. That is in men. Like, when in the hit... Wow, I don't know. So, pornography, pornography has made it okay for you to, to enjoy watching another man naked. To go search it up. I don't know if there ever been a time in, in history where men were okay with looking up what another man's penis looked like. That's If that ain't weird, I don't know what is, bro. I ain't looking up no other fucking man's dick. That's crazy. Crazy. And now you got women they will encourage you to let them fuck celebrities. Shit is crazy, man. What, what men have become is unbelievable. And if we don't stop this shit, at least one in our community, bro, we're going to get fucking crushed. We're going to get crushed, bro. You should not be okay with that. You should not be comfortable with that. All right, and if your girl is is having fan behavior, if your girl is having fan behavior, what do you think? What do you think that is? She will go fuck him. <laughs> Grown men watching another man's down and doubt on that's crazy to me, bro. <laughs> like my, you can't come on now, bro. If you gay is okay. It's acceptable now, but don't sit up here and tell me you are straight male and you went and searched Drake's penis. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, G. Come on, G. You can lie to yourself. You don't lie to me. <laughs> you a grown man doing that shit? I don't know what the fuck. You can't tell me nothing else, bro. All right, so please, guys, get rid of this porn. Stop allowing your woman to have fan behavior. Stop allowing your woman to fucking uh, fantasize over other men. 
Because basically she's saying when when you when your woman is commenting on local celebrities, local rappers, she, she's basically saying this guy is a better option for me. He is so up here. This celebrity rapper is on a pedestal for me. My man is just a regular nobody that I'm just with. If I had the opportunity to be with this celebrity, I would leave my man at, 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 with, without second thought. And that's why, bro, that's why she had no issue. That's why she had no issue, right, leaving for small stuff. Look what you said. She will always try to leave over little things. What does that tell you? She was leaving over little things because she didn't think that you were the best guy for her. You guys can't be in relationships with women that think that you 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 you're just a consolation prize. You're something to do for right now. If your woman doesn't damn near worship the ground you walk on, that can't be a woman for you. But FedEx Phyllis is crazy, right? FedEx Phyllis is the one that's fucking crazy for telling you to block low interest girls, for telling you not to deal with girls who give you medium interest. What does fucking dealing with medium interest girls do? It leads you to shit like this. It makes you more susceptible to dealing with women who don't really fuck with you. Are you raising interest, motherfuckers? You're going to be raising interest the whole relationship because she ain't going to never think you're enough. Why not just listen to me, make yourself a fucking catch and go be with a woman that actually likes you so you don't deal with women who's, who fantasize about other men when they when they're with you. Do you think you're going to be more likely or less likely, right, to get into some cuck shit from my advice or the advice you listen to on the internet telling you to deal with girls to deal with them? What advice you think is going to make you more of a cuck? You let me know. Which advice you think is going to allow you to be more of a man with backbone? A man who's going to walk away from, from bullshit and nonsense. The motherfuckers that's telling you, yeah, man, don't block them. Leave them there. Tolerate them. Shit is insane, bro. Dudes out here sharing their wives on the internet. <laughs> Dudes out here letting their wife get fucked. <laughs> man, come on. The modern man is fucking cooked. <laughs> it's fucking insane. It's fucking wild, bro. All right, guys, please, 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 please. Now more than ever, man, you have to work extremely hard to not fall for the trap of being another guy that is just another guy all right you got it you got to separate yourself if you and if you're going to attract women that want to worship the ground you walk on you got to be what those women want stop letting these girls fantasize over celebrities when they should be fantasizing over you your girl should be fantasizing over you if you want women to fantasize over you you got to get better looking you got to get in good shape you got to revolutionize your image and if you want help with that, don't sit up here and, and fucking hope for the shit to magically happen. You got to take action. But I can lead you to the I can lead you to the promised land, bro. Not only have I improved my image, but if you've been watching me over the last few years, I am now more attractive. I don't have to deal with bullshit with girls, but I've also helped a ton of guys do it too. So if that's you and you want that kind of help, right? Click the link in the chat, man, and book a free call. Don't turn into a cuck, bro. Don't turn into one of these motherfuckers watching another man fuck your girl. Please. Save the last uh, 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 breed of, of true men. Let's not all go down that road. All right? Click the link in the chat. If you want women that are going to fantasize about you, so you don't be a cuck. <laughs> Click the link in the chat and book a free call. All right. Let's look at VOTW. What's up, bro? Hey, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good, man. What you got for me? So basically, um, I just wanted to ask. So basically, you know, I was, I get anxiety from trying to like call the post girls. I'm on date. I'm on date naps. I'm trying out the Facebook dating little thing. And I've been on there for like a couple weeks and I have not yet gotten like a girl that like me or match with me, I've been swiping right on plenty of girls. So that means your photos are, are trash. It ain't the girls. What city you live in? Milwaukee. Okay. Well, it ain't the girls. It's you. Your photos don't look like shit. 
Have you done a photo shoot? Uh, yeah, I did last summer. Like I was wearing like a white t-shirt, like a white like polo shirt and some nice Levi's and stuff. So you did one, you did one photo shoot in one outfit. <clears throat> like I, yeah, like I haven't really been trying to like get photo shoots lately. Why not? Uh, too expensive. Then you gotta go make money. You can't, you're not going to be able to highlight yourself in an attractive way if you don't have the investments to be able to do something as small as a photo shoot. Yeah. So, but and plus, I'm, and plus, I'm trying to like improve my image. Like, I want to like get muscular first before I try to like try like new photo shoots and stuff like that. No, you can do, you can do both of those at the same time. You can be getting muscular. A gym membership is only like 20 bucks, 30 bucks a month. You could be, you could be getting muscular. Making more money and doing photo shoots at the same time. Yeah, because um, yeah, because like even when like when I try to approach girls in person, like I get anxiety. I'm like, like I did approach just, a girl. Just seen your head, like, listen, like li listen, like um. So basically, it was like it was a couple months ago. Like I was with, hanging out with my friends, and you know, I was at you know at the mall or whatever. I was in this lotion store, you know, checking out some lotion. I saw this girl. I thought she was pretty. <laughs> approached her. Then when I tried to get her number, she's like, "Oh, I got a boyfriend." That's that bullshit. Bro, how many guys have you approached this year? Not that many. Okay. I haven't, I haven't even had sex in years. I mean, it, it, approaching not that many girls, having no photos on day naps is going to cause it. <laughs> Got to pick I'm, a struggle, I'm, like, my I'm looking at me. Yeah, like, well, look, you listen. Friend. You listen. Listen. My bad, my you friend. have to pick a struggle. What are you going to do? What are you going to improve to give yourself a shot? You can't not approach girls, not have photos on day naps, and wonder why you ain't getting ass. You got to either get more money. No, you got to get more money regardless. You got to go make more money, get another job or whatever you need to do. All right? So you can supplement your income to be able to afford a gym membership, to be able to afford photos, to be able to afford outfits. And that's not enough. Being able to afford those things is just... It's just the the bare minimum. You got to do them shits right. You ain't even near yet. So go work on that. Go work on being able to afford those things, and then we'll we'll talk. Okay. All right. All right. All right, bro. All right, man. The most well-rounded man will win, guys. I'm sorry to tell y'all. 2024, man. Good luck. I don't know how you motherfuckers is getting ass. I don't even know. These these girls be playing games with me. I'd be like, I'd be literally thinking, how the fuck is the regular man surviving? <laughs> I'd be like, what the fuck? It's no fucking way. It's no fucking way you motherfuckers could convince me that y'all don't need some fucking help. It's no way. I'm a man who's in a tremendous shape. I did my body fat percentage today. I'm 8% body fat. Lean, successful. Like, bro, I can pretty much get sex whenever I want, but I still deal with games. I still deal with games. So I'm like, bro, if, if a man of my caliber is dealing with games, right, what is the regular man dealing with? There's no fucking way. There's <laughs> no, it's no way. There's no way. So I already know you got to have a lot of sense of urgency, bro, to improve your life. Somebody say, bro, you're five, seven. Shut the fuck up. I dare you. I dare you. Show me who your girl is. And I guarantee you she'll leave. She'll leave your ass for me. I'll put I'll put a thousand dollars on it. Let's bet some money. Let's bet some money. I dare any one of you motherfuckers that think the height is going to save you. Let's bet some money. I will bring you to Miami, and if you pull a baddie off of your height alone, I will give you a band. Get the fuck out of here. I'm over here talking to guys in the streets who are way taller than me, telling me the same fucking shit about some fucking height. Come up, I will drop a band. Come to fucking Miami, and you pull a bitch from you just being tall, and and we'll talk. Motherfuckers, is, man, I dare you. 
Put some money up. Put your money where your mouth is if you really about that. If you ain't about it, shut the fuck up. You ain't about shit. Motherfuckers like talking. Come talk. Come show me some results. Come pull some chicks. Man, motherfuckers is fucking wild. I dare you. I dare you. See, I ain't gonna play games. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my money with my put put your money where your mouth is. Put your money where your mouth is. Since I don't know what I'm talking about, right? Come prove it to me. Come come out here. Come pull a chick who is above a seven. Come do it. And if you can do it, I will drop. I will give you one thousand dollars. If not, you just you just a troll. You just a bitch. You just a bitch. I'm talking to dudes who who not who are not just tall, but they're also in good shape, and they they still have to be putting their shit together, doing the work, so they can fucking uh uh uh, uh get results. And motherfuckers, oh hi, get me shut your bitch ass up. You a bitch. The only the only thing. You you need to bring up hype because that's the only thing that you know you could possibly be looked at because of. You cannot, you no fucking way you can get a girl. If you could, prove it to me. Show me. I dare you. <laughs> Show me I'm wrong. Show me. Put some money up. Put some money up. Anytime you see a, a, a dude talk shit, guys, and you dare him, you see who, who you see who he really is. Motherfuckers ain't motherfuckers ain't getting no hoes. Dude said, "I if you think dudes are fucking wild, I dare you, bro. I dare you. I dare you. Come on, man. Come on." Let's see how many girls you pull. Let's see how many chicks you pull. <laughs> Let me see how many girls you pull. Motherfuckers are fucking stupid, bro. These dudes that think they get hoes. All right, show me. That's what I'm gonna start doing. You can't. You can't prove it to me. Then don't talk. You over here watching my videos, acting like you acting like you the man. Get the fuck out of here. You watching me talk, motherfucker. You listening to my advice. He a trophy. Don't let him get robbed up. It's not about me getting robbed up, guys. It's just, it's just, I, I want, I don't want guys. That's this black pill bullshit, right? They try to, they try to make you, they try to make you feel like the things that you, the, the results that you can get are out of your control. And that's not the case because I, I help guys who are fucking six foot three, six foot four. They still got to put in work. So don't, don't, don't let that shit fucking uh, uh, limit you, bro. You can, if you put in work then you can get results. We're only dealing with high interest girls only. So it don't really, it don't really matter why a girl don't fucking like me. I'm going to have my shit together regardless and only fuck with the girls who do. So, guys, you can improve, bro. You can improve. The only thing is to listen to these fucking dweebs who ain't never to approach the girl in their fucking life. These motherfuckers be scared of girls. Tell them to go fucking talk to a girl. <laughs> Start shivering. What happened to all the fucking confidence you had? Where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? How many guys I go up to in these streets? Go look at all my interviews, my street interviews. How many guys I go up to in the streets who don't have confidence to talk to? They can't even talk to girls. What? Acting like you some big, big shot. All right, let me get to somebody else. Motherfuckers ain't getting no hoes. Full of cap. Full of cap. Last time they were talking about my hinge. I said, show me your hinge. Show me the girls you fucking. That's what I'm going to start doing. And the moment you guys argue me about something, show me the results. If, 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 if the girls, 
On my hands aren't, aren't that hot. Show me the girls you attracting. Let me see them. If you get so many girls, show me a baddie you pulled and how'd you get her. If you can't do it, I'm gonna just block you. Because if you was doing it, you'd be on you'd be on YouTube too teaching. Because the majority of guys ain't getting that. So let's not pretend like motherfuckers out here fucking slaying slay, slay it. Fuck out of here. Next guy. And the reason that shit pisses me off, guys, is because that kind of sentiment will have guys thinking that they have no hope. Right? They have no fucking hope. Oh, I can't do nothing because of this. Bro, you are in control of your life, man. You can you can get all the results that you want if you put in the work. I don't like these fucking losers who live under their fucking mama's basement, ain't seen a girl in two years. They be the ones with the highest standards. They be having the most courage in their little in their little basement. Um, I'm an alpha male. Man, shut the fuck up. You ain't talk to a good your ass ain't seen pussy in, in two years. I'm about some you alpha male. Fuck out of here. All right, let me bring somebody else on here. <laughs> and jack off the other men fucking on the screen. Exactly. They'll be talking the most shit and then be beating their fucking dick to another man fucking another girl. I'm an alpha male. You, you have to be six five to get girls. <laughs> Motherfucker ain't seen a man. Fucker ain't seen a girl in two years. Got all the standards in the world. Fucking serial meat beater. Be addicted to pornography. That's the only ass he's seeing. Pornography booty. Another man fucking another girl. That's the only girls he see. But have the most courage. Any guy who's really successful with girls will tell you it's hard work, regardless of what fucking height you are. If you don't make yourself well rounded, bro, it's gonna be tough. You got to put, you got to give yourself leverage, man. All right. Let me read some super chat. If I curse somebody else out. Curry 2S with the dollar. Appreciate the super sticker, bro. Uh, Drex with the Canadian $2. Appreciate you. Drex again with the $7 Canadian. Hey, Fit, if me and the girl argue... Maybe not too much. And she asks for space. What do I do? She asks him for space because she want to go fuck somebody else, bro. And you shouldn't be arguing with your girl. That's a sign that she doesn't respect you. So the moment you see a woman give you that kind of backlash or she starts to bicker too much, you're going to tell her that you do not appreciate drama and then you're not going to tolerate that. When you see women bicker, 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 bicker to the point where like it's driving you crazy is because they don't respect you. And bro, please remove the girl from your profile. That, that shit is kind of weird. All you guys who be having girls as your profile photo, man, please, man, take that shit off. But you should never let, you should never get to the point where a woman is arguing with you that much because she doesn't fear losing you. You haven't set up any boundaries. A lot of guys think that arguing with a girl is normal. No, the fuck it ain't. No, the fuck it ain't. J Mojo, love the stream. Appreciate you, G. Uh, Adi me with the five dollars. Would you work with a fan in a 50 50 partnership if it meant you would make an extra 50k a month, bro? I don't need your 50k a month. <laughs> I'm thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Somebody else needs it. I already got my team. We're already doing well. Already growing, bro. If you have that kind of skills where you can provide somebody 50k a month, there's somebody else that needs that 50k a month. All right. And and Listen, I'm going to give you guys some, some fitness, I mean, some uh, marketing 
and, and sales tips, right? Not so much marketing, but value tips. You always want to lead with what you can bring to somebody without bringing up numbers because you don't know. You don't know what that person is already doing. So until un, unless you know for sure, right, don't be making these kind of crazy claims. Um, if you see real, real businesses, they're not going to say, oh, we promise you X amount of money. Well, we're going to see if we can help you. All right. You, you will never see me say, hey, man, uh, you, you signed up for FedEx Fearless's mentorship. I, I'm going to get you five bitches next month. That's not even re realistic. I don't even know if I could help you. How could I help you? How? How could I help you? All right. Like you got to be, if you're doing marketing, if you're doing anything with business, you got to have more of a doctor's mentality. Like I'm trying to see what I can prescribe to you based on what you need. So don't just lead with that term. All right. See how you can actually help the person. Okay. But if you have those kind of skills, bro, um, use that different framework I just gave you. See what value you could provide for that person first before you could before you just start making these numbers up. Fabio Lopez, the five dollars. Hey, fit quick monoxidil question. When can I start trimming the facial hair that I've grown from monoxidil? Um, I would say leave it alone until you until until you it's full enough for you to trim it. If that makes sense. Like if you're trying to grow hair in a specific area, try not to run uh, a blade or anything over that area. So for instance, right now, right? I'm trying to grow hair right here. Just to fill it in a little bit. And as I, I noticed, the less I put, because I do my own beard, the less I put the blade or trimmer around that area, the I'm letting the hair grow. As I'm using minoxidil, I'm letting the hair grow. The more you cut it, the 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 the, the harder the the harder it is for it to grow. Next, red flag if a girl files a lot of celebrities disqualifier. Not even a red flag. Red 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 flag to me means be mindful. There's some shit where I'm like, I'm not going to fuck with you at all. And be careful, guys. There are some girls who don't follow celebrities and, and be the biggest thoughts. So there's no one size fits all. If a girl follows a lot of celebrities, she's probably a fan girl. But there's other, other there are some girls who don't follow nobody. And be fucking slinging that pussy. <laughs> don't, don't fall for it. You're like, oh, she a good girl. That's what I'm saying, guys. Your vetting process, somebody said that's a scarlet flag. <laughs> Yo, that's actually fucking hilarious. Yo, he said that's a scarlet flag. That is wild. But <laughs> but there are some girls, bro, who don't follow anybody. Um, there are some girls who don't follow anybody, and they be doing this shit too. So don't fall, don't, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it, bro. <laughs> Motherfuckers want me to be on steroids so bad. Bro, I listen, bro. I wish, I wish, I wish I can give you my genetics, G. And my what is it? 14 years of hard work in the gym. <laughs> And my proper nutrition, no drugs, no alcohol. I wish I would. I mean, it's so easy, right? So easy. So easy. <laughs> 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 
Don't, don't let me put my and don't let me put my put my money where my mouth is with, with steroids. I'm I'm that kind of person, bro. Don't try me. I'm not I'm not y'all please understand. I'm a fucking I am not a passive person. If you think I'm doing something and you can't prove it, I'm gonna challenge you with some money. And then I'm gonna embarrass you. I wish one of these motherfuckers would say I'm on steroids. Put 10 bands up. I'll do whatever test you want. And if I fuck, and if and if it comes out the truth that I'm not on steroids, you owe me 10 bands. <laughs> I'm, I will put my money up. I, I dare a motherfucker to try me. I dare you. Please. I'm the one. I'm the fucking person that if you try, I'm going to fucking try to ruin you. I'm going to try to, I dare you. Please try me. Please try me. You you think you get bitches? Bet. Come show me. Show me a girl you fucking. That's bad. I dare you. If you can't prove it, All right, next. Correct way to apply cologne to myself. Uh, you want to do it on your pulse points, bro. So inside your wrist, right behind your neck, um, right here. So I do like seven sprays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven behind the neck. That's how you know. You, you put it on your pulse points, it's gonna last. It's gonna last. Uh, it's gonna last better. Seven sprays. Yeah, I use seven. I use about seven sprays, guys. I use F Boy Formula in streetwear. Your opinion? Yeah, I mean, you can fit in streetwear into a casual setting. I'm not saying that streetwear is streetwear is never useful. You can use streetwear. Um, just don't don't wear streetwear all the time. <sighs> Rate the girls we get on SMV calculator. Oh Lord, don't do it, Zach. Zach, don't do it. I don't want these dudes to cry. Zach, please. <laughs> Zach said, let's rate the girls. <laughs> Zach said, rate the girls guys get on the SMB calculator. Do not do it. Motherfuckers gonna cry. Motherfuckers gonna cry. <laughs> Don't do it, Zach. Let's not do it. Let's not do it. Those, those girls would be a fucking two. <laughs> Prioritize martial arts slash gym before income skill. No, you do it all. Why can't you prioritize gym or martial arts and learn a skill? <laughs> Why do you motherfuckers need to? Oh, God. Guys, it's called balance, man. It's called balance. It's called balance. I I think I don't necessarily think that you need. When I say balance, I mean extreme balance, meaning you're doing everything in your power to make sure you're well rounded. I think I think that's that's what I think is 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 better for a man because we can't afford to have weaknesses, guys. The unfortunate reality for us men is. We don't we don't have the opportunity in today's dating market to have major deficiencies. Does that make sense? Girl sleeps with dudes that make girl sleep with dudes makes me wait to date. She thinks you're a beta male, bro. 
She doesn't think that you are alpha male. She gives the alpha male some pussy, and then she feels like you're going to give her a good relationship. My man, macho man with the dollar. Appreciate you, man. What's the minimum minimum minute? What's the min a month a 19-year-old should strive for? It shouldn't be a minimum, bro. I don't know what exactly you're doing, what you're doing financially. But you should be trying to make as much money as possible. How long should you stay in a set with girls? I hate that fucking term, bro. I hate that pickup shit. I don't believe in staying in a set. I believe in outcome independence where you're only talking to a girl and trying to figure out if you like her. All this set shit, all this stupid shit is just clown behavior disguised as game. That's all it is. Stay in a set, uh, do this. It's just clown behavior disguised as having game. I want my, the reason why is because I want my guys to have a life. I don't want approaching women to be your entire life. I don't want you to be spending hours at a club trying to get some pussy. I want you to be well-rounded. You're in great shape. You make a lot of money. Um, you're intelligent. Like you, you just somebody who just got it all going on and women get to be a part of that life. You're still a man. You still have to take the initiative. Somebody said, what the fuck is this at? That's, that's a, uh, that's a red pill, not a red pill, a pickup community, uh, slang like stay in the set like the set is like when you go up and talk to a girl like it's just craziness bro craziness craziness but don't don't have that mentality guys when you're talking to women you should have outcome independence i really don't care if this goes well or not i'm not staying in no fucking set i ain't a fucking clown i ain't gonna be going to clubs wasting my fucking time trying to talk to god to girls I'm going to have a life. I'm going to be going to the gym. I'm going to be working on my on my business, my dreams. I'm going to be I'm going to be doing more than one thing in my life. All right? So all you guys who are who want to improve your confidence with talking to women, I got a free ebook for you called Alpha Approach. Somebody asked for it earlier, but this is it again. Click click the link in the chat. Click the link in the chat. And get the alpha approach ebook. It's how you should approach a woman like an alpha. Fuck all this stay in a set nonsense. That's clown behavior disguised as game. All right? Clown behavior disguised as game. You don't want to be a clown. Approaching women should be a part of your approach. I'm going to tell you guys a story of one of my students. I'm incredibly proud of him. His name is Tyrone, right? Tyrone, we did Emerging two weeks ago, right? And we were approaching girls. Like I, I was like, have my guys approaching girls. And like he didn't have, he didn't, he, he was, he was trying to get better with focusing on one girl. Um, and then he finally broke through a couple of days ago. <laughs> Somebody said Tyrone. Funny, right? His name is Tyrone. That is literally hilarious, right? <laughs> but he saw this girl funny story he saw this girl at a in his like buildings pool hall or whatever and she was with a dude because he didn't he didn't give a fuck about approaching girl like that that fear of approaching girls had gone away like all thanks to immersion and being in that environment he just went up to the girl and then the girl left the dude she was with she wasn't even really with the dude he was on a trip with her, right? He go up to the girl, they start talking, ends up smashing her, same day late. Talking to the girl, play pool with her, brought her back to the crib, and then hit her from a cold approach. I'm like, man, ain't nothing you could tell me. Ain't nothing you could tell me. It's fucking possible, bro. You just got to... Have the nuts and the confidence. Don't look at it like such a big deal because the better you get with, with talking to women and the less you give a fuck, that shit is going to come across naturally. And I was like, that's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. I will show y'all some uh, proof. Let me see if I could uh, 
show y'all some proof. I don't know if I can. I want to show y'all his uh, little. Can I show it to these guys? Fuck. How can I show it? I want to show it, but I don't know if YouTube going to let me. <laughs> but yeah. Man, he approached the girl, smashed her the same day. Smashed the same day. Show it fit. I, can I show this shit? It doesn't show anything. I think I can show it. 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 Y'all motherfuckers want me to show it. Show them the text. Y'all right, just want me to show it. Yeah, you know, little YouTube gonna let it slide. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. But I'll show y'all the... uh. One second. Let me try to find it. I'm going to show it to y'all. I'm not going to show y'all the girl, obviously. But I'm going to show y'all... Yeah, hold up. Let me see. I'm going to show you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here you go. Let me show it to y'all. But that's the importance of having. Let me show it to y'all. Hold up. Let me see if I can show it to y'all. I just saved it to my computer. So it should let me. One second. Make sure no personal information is being shown. One second, one second. All right, I got it. So, quarter post, quarter post time to lay last night. That's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. And then he told me the story. Um, but yeah, I'm not showing a fucking girl. But yeah, here it is again, guys, if y'all missed it. And I've been telling guys for the longest that that code approach is not something that you should ever, ever stop doing because it's not something you should, you should stop doing because it, it gives there's some women who are not gonna be on day naps, they're not gonna be on Instagram, right? You just gotta make sure that, but you gotta have the confidence, right, to go up and talk to her. Does that make sense? Like, why are you as a man so scared, right, to fucking talk to a girl if you really and legitimately have outcome independence? It's a numbers game. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I, if she like me, she like me. If she don't, she don't. Okay. So yeah, man. If you wanna, if you wanna give results like this too, man. You want, you want my help to give results like this, guys. I'm telling you, it's possible, man. It, anything is fucking possible. You can be one of the winners. Don't be like these dweebs, man, who think that nothing is fucking possible. Who have a fucking who have a fucking negative outlook on everything, and they're letting everybody else fucking win. Let everybody else crush their ass. You can be a winner too. You can meet beautiful women anywhere, sleep with them without having to have three fucking heads. All right? I ain't showing nothing, so it, nothing is here. Ain't nothing showing here, bro. But yeah, man, if you want my help, you want to you get results like this, bro, click the link in the chat, man. 
There are guys who are winners, and then there are guys who who just talk, right? They go. There's a saying that goes, "There, there, there are three types of dudes in life, right? Guys that make it happen, guys that watch it happen, and guys that don't even know what the hell is going on. Which guy are you gonna be? Guys that make it happen, guys that watch it happen, and guys that don't even know what the fuck is going on." A lot of y'all are just watching it happen. Most people don't even know what the fuck is going on. And then there's a select group of dudes who will meet a girl, talk to her without having to validate her and fuck her. Come on, man. Why can't that be you, man? You can get this fucking help too. You can get these results too. All right? Click that link in the chat, man. Book a free call. Let me see if I can help you out. Let me see if I can help you. I don't know. I don't know, but it, there's a possibility that I can help you out. But you got to drop the ego and be willing to get help. All right. Click the link in the chat, man, and book a free call. But yeah, I, I truly believe that every man is capable. The work is just what's in between you and what you want. The work ain't easy. It ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna happen in a day. Williams A with the one dollar. Uh, appreciate you, bro. Strength in numbers twenty twenty one with the ten dollars. Yo, what should I do? I told a girl I like her. She brings up that she's twenty seven and I'm twenty one, but she from work. I bring her to work and pick and pick her. She talks to a guy at work too. He took her out. Bro, she's a hoe, bro. What do you expect? You just, you just, you literally just told me a whole bunch of nothing. Yo, what should I do? I told a girl I like her. You told a girl at your job that you like her. First mistake. She's shit testing you by calling you young. And she's dating other dudes at your job too. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Williams A with the $5. Appreciate you, G. Thanks for all. I saw the gym and gained the weight and muscle. I'm still working on it. Please keep up the good content. By the way, your last thumbnail as well. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Abel to DC with the five dollars. I know these girls choose me and are down to hook up and dance at bars and clubs, but won't be down to hang out after. What am I doing wrong? Are you saying that you fuck them and they don't want to hang out after that? Or they are down to hang out at the club, but they don't want to go back to your crib? Those are two different things. Let me know which one it is. Okay. All right. Let me, let's put the link in here again for you guys. Let me see if I got some questions. All right, let's put the link in here again for you guys to come and join. Come ask some questions. If you have a question, guys, or you're confused on whether or not a girl is using you for free attention, um, two things I want you to do. We got about 40 minutes left. One, you can join this link and come at, and come tell me what's going on so I can give you my feedback. Join this link. Join this link. Or if you want to send me a screenshot between you and a girl, send me a screenshot. Text me your pictures to this number. Text me a text me a picture to this number. Right. And that's true, my Beethoven. I literally just had a live stream where Michael B. Jordan said he's still lonely because he's struggling to find a good girl. But these motherfuckers out here are slinging. They, they just getting all type of results. I tell you, crazy. They, they, they so cold. They have no, they have no problems with women. They got it all figured out. A whole bunch of lying. 
Don't that doesn't mean you have to be Michael B. Jordan, but bro, don't let's not sit up here and act like you really getting these kind of results when you're not. All right, let's bring it back. Hey Jay. Yo, Phil, what's going on, brother? What's going on, G? But, hey, Phil, let me show you where I'm watching you from. Look. Where, where are you watching me from? My, my sprinter van. Okay, that's what's up. Okay, baller. Yeah, sure. Mr. Baller. What's going on, Fit? What's going on, man? Good what you got for me? Pretty good, pretty good, Fit. I just got a couple questions, Fit. So um, my girl, she's ready to get uh, started in a new job. And I was wondering if I should have boundaries for a job, too, at work. Mm, what kind of job is she trying to start? At a bank. Okay. So I, I like mean, I like the, I like the idea that you mentioned last time having you know um, the boundaries and in, in, in a sheet you know, right? Her to have so it'd be no misunderstanding. All right. So yeah, I mean I think that's super important because if you don't have these boundaries, women are gonna do some fuck shit and ruin the relationship, and then they're gonna be like. I, d I, d I didn't know or didn't <laughs> like no you did know so now it's over so my boundaries i'm not gonna share with y'all publicly i no fucking way you my motherfuckers will fucking kill me <laughs> if i show what i i ain't tolerate nothing i've shared that specifically with my students but i can kind of tell you basically everything that you don't want a girl to do which would ruin the relationship you should have on there anything that you believe would could because women they like free attention but sometimes it can be they can entertain free attention at a vulnerable moment so you got to make sure that she understands and this doesn't the boundary list doesn't mean that she's still not going to do it it just means if she does it and you catch her you can say hey we discussed this clearly and we, I, I let it be known that this is a disqualifier. So it just gives you an opportunity to say, "Hey, I told you so." All right. Phil, All right what, so. What's your thought? I know summer is coming, is coming down soon. And what's your thought of a girl tanning in front of the pool, half naked, as a boundary? What's your thoughts <laughs> on that? I'm in which pool? Which mean half naked, like in a bikini? Yeah, like you're just tanning by herself in the pool. Okay, I don't, I don't really have a problem with that. Really, you think that that's that's cool? Mm, okay, I do understand that you are from a different. You are from a Middle Eastern background, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, so I mean, if you if you ain't flying with that shit, then you gotta let her know too. But I don't think. <laughs> I don't man, know. I don't like sitting sit half naked man on the pool in front of everybody. You know, it's just. I mean, okay, then if that's the case, that means she can't ever go to the beach in a bikini. Yeah. Is your girl not allowed to go on a beach in the bikini? No, I, I took her so last so last summer I took her a couple times, but I told you, you gotta put on a little bit more clothes, you know. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like that because just me personally, because I don't want the girl to feel like I'm excessively controlling. Right? You gonna have a of your freedom, but not like you're not gonna disrespect me. You, my girl can look sexy. She can't just wear half naked. She can't like, she can't wear attention inviting stuff. There's a reason. There's a difference. So this is where guys get fucked up at, right? Your, it's one thing for your girl to look sexy, but it's one thing for her to wear attention inviting stuff. So these girls would be like, if, if, if you're insecure, if you don't want your girl to look, up. no, 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 no. My girl can wear a nice dress that 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 shows her curves. Why the fuck her booty hole gotta be showing? Why she got it? Why her skirt gotta when she bend down, her boobs about to fall out? No, 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 no. That's attention inviting stuff. That's a difference. You can wear nice dresses that show your curves that are not attention inviting. And then and then fit is short shorts in the gym. That's a no go. Short shorts, yes. And the fuck no. No, you could lost your fucking mind. You can wear shorts. But I be seeing some girls, the shit be up there, it be up their ass. I'm like, man, you can't fuck no. Not my girl. She can wear shorts. And like I said, that's something that can that looks sexy. Some a lot of times girls want to wear nice things because it makes them look sexy. That's not attention inviting as much as you wearing short shorts. Yeah. 
There's a difference between gym shorts and short shorts. I seen one video of this chick. She was literally wearing a thong, a, a fucking see-through. Uh, I swear to God, I'm not making this. I wish I could find this fucking video. If somebody find the video, let me know. This chick was doing RDLs in the gym with fucking tights that were see-through. Wow. I'm like, what? That's not you. Okay, now you want to be a hoe. Okay, go be by yourself. That's not you trying to be sexy. You're, you just look, you looking for attention. Short shorts, brown that shit up your booty hole. That's attention seeking. Wearing some shorts because you they make you look good. Sure. I, I ain't going to lie, bro. There's, there's this one girl that goes to my gym. And I don't know if she's in a relationship. But, man, if she is, she might not be. Right? And I don't know who's... Let me not give a girl excessive praise because I know I talk shit about girls. I'm not give a girl excessive praise without knowing all the details. But there's this one girl in my gym. I've told you about the girl in my gym who loves attention, like talking to dudes. There's this other girl who comes in there. She wears some stuff that makes her look good, but I don't never see her in no dude's face. She does her workout and goes home. She ain't she ain't taking a selfie every hour. I'm like, you know what? If I was to fuck with a girl, that's the kind of guy I want to fuck with. Because what she's wearing, she still looks good, but you don't see her. And like she put a hat on, workout, and never, I don't, I've never seen her look up, chit-chatting with somebody, talking. I'm like, bro, that's that's how a girl should be. If maybe she does have a boyfriend. If I'm her boyfriend, I would respect that a lot because you're still looking sexy, but you ain't all you can you can go to the gym and look sexy without having to be in all them people's faces. And then there are girls who come in there and they need to be seen. That's the difference. I need to be seen. I need to pose half naked. I need to go take a selfie in every mirror in the fucking gym. I ain't even working out no more. I'm just coming there for that's the difference. So you got to be mindful of that. What is the girl going? What is she? What What is her purpose of wearing this shit? Oh. All right, Fit. I appreciate you, man. Hey, I see the infield videos, man. They're doing so well, Fit, man. Double down on it, brother. Of course, man. I got to get. I got to get to it. Do a lot of stuff, man. It's going to blow you up, man. I got you. Appreciate right, you, man. Hard work, man. Inspiration as always, Fit. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, take care. All right. Fit, stop looking at her, bro, and put this into the workout. Bro, I'm not looking at her. I just, bro, why are we doing this, right? Why are we doing this? Let's be honest, right? At the end of the day, we all want a, a solid girl, right? We all want a solid girl. And if I'm I'm not going to be one of these dudes that act like all women are fucking trash and I hate all women. That's just, that's not, that's not real. If I see a girl doing some good things, I will, I will compliment it at least to you guys and for what you guys should be looking out for. Right, that kind of behavior is very, very, very attractive to me. Not saying I'm gonna go talk to the fucking girl. I'm just, I'm a coach. I'm, I pay attention to social dynamics. I see girls who are attention seeking, and I see girls who are not. So I'm telling you, if you had a girl, your girl should be the type of girl who can look good, but don't need to fucking. She don't. She ain't coming to the fucking gym to be in dudes' faces. Does that make sense? Some girls will literally come in the motherfucking gym. Their whole purpose of being there is to see how many stares they can get, how many looks they can get, how many dudes they can get to approach them. That's not a girl you want to be with. It's up to you guys. I think I think one of my greatest assets, one thing that I'm, I, I think I'm extremely blessed with, I'm very, very good at reading people. I bet very, very good. I can read behavior very, very well. Right? You have to be, you have to have some of that too. Because if you're picking the right girl, you gotta know, man. Is my chick the type of girl that's gonna be when I'm not around? Because I don't know if that girl has a boyfriend or not. Right? But if I'm not around, how is she acting? It don't really matter what the fuck she's doing when she with you. Of course, she's gonna put on that front when she with you. How is she carrying herself? Because she's a representation of you, bro. If my girl behind my back, when she's in public places, 
right? She's attention seeking. She's thirst trapping. She could be thirst trapping without having to fucking be half naked. All in dudes' faces, staring at dudes. That's uh, that's fucking attention seeking. But you can look sexy, go places, dress well, mind your business, and go home. Not gonna lie, bro. That shit is attractive as hell. Think about if you've seen a girl who who looks good and she ain't out there looking for attention. You're like, man, what the fuck? Where one of these girls come from? That's rare to see. And I think that's very attractive and what guys should be looking for in a woman. All right. These girls, man, they be in the fucking gym. I'm like, did you, why did you come to the gym? What was the purpose? You didn't come to work out. You came here to take photos. <laughs> you came in this motherfucker to take photos. That's quick. That kind of girl be, be mindful of. Abel. Hey, what's going on, Fick? You hear me? What's going on, D? Hey, what's up? Um, I was a dude actually that uh, sent you the super chat uh, about asking about the question with the girls in the bars and the clubs. Okay. Yeah, so I kind of want to just like uh, elaborate more on that. I know it wasn't, it was a little vague. Um, okay. But basically, um, you know, when I'm out of the spot, um, I usually really don't have any problem with like, you know, girls choosing me and I'm, I'm always dressing nice and uh, got my got some good cologne and whatnot. Um, so, you know, usually I, I get into the interaction, you know, we start dancing. Sometimes, you know, we hook up. Um, but a lot of times, you know, when I'm trying to pull them out or, you know, if I hit them up, like after they gave me the numbers, I hit them up. Like, you know, usually I don't get no reply or they'll make some excuse when I'm trying to like, you know, take them back to the, to the crib or something. So just trying to figure out like, you know, how you mean, to improve going to my club. closing rate. You're going to the clubs, the worst place to meet women. Okay. The word literally, there's no other place worse to me, women. Okay. I don't know if you believe me when I'm saying that. No, no. I mean, uh, I, I know, um, like you're not a, a big fan of that. Um, that's just something that I, re I like to, you know, go out, like listen to music. Um, so, you know, when I'm going to clubs and stuff, it's not just to like, you know, pick up chicks. I like to just go to spots that play good music. Sometimes I'll be hanging out with my friends. So let but, me ask you, um, what yeah. is your closing rate? On day naps, what is your closing rate and places outside of the club? Um, so on dating apps, I, I would say I don't get a lot of matches like that, but when I do get matches, the closing rate is pretty good. Um, outside of like you know, like just meeting uh, in like public you know, uh, settings and whatnot. Um, to be honest, I actually and I'm trying to challenge myself too more on this, but I really don't approach like during the day, it just it feels a little more, uh, just a little more awkward for me. So no, I'm trying no, to like, no, you know, no. you, you, oh, you're making it awkward. I just showed you motherfuckers a dude. One of, I literally, you know, hold on. You don't believe me. Hold on. Yeah. Let me show you. Let me show you. Smashed a girl right here. Oh, you talking about your student from the, the same lay day, correct? Yeah. 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 A, a girl that he met in the daytime, talked to her, brought her back and fucked her. This yeah. creepy shit is only if you make it that way. Yeah. How the fuck do you? If I don't know why you guys have this preference. So you go to a club where women are dolled up, full of makeup, with their friends, going there to to literally, literally, sh literally shit on men. That's where you prefer to meet women, other than a natural setting. So if I'm if I'm walking down the street and a girl look good. Or we we in the mall together, we in the grocery store together. I'm not gonna talk to her. Right, right. Like, so bro, like that's a natural setting, bro. You gotta you gotta be willing to go ahead, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So you saying basically like in in the in the kind in the you know the bar scene and whatnot, like that's like something that's like that happens all the time. Like it's not even like it's, it's just not it's, it's not gonna run it. Place. It's not an optimal place for you to meet women. I don't think it's an advantage spot for you to meet women, meet women because you're putting at a disadvantage. You're going there with women who are, they are automatically put on a pedestal at a club. Right, right. Why would you go there to try to hit on women where they, these, these fucking girls already got a fucking ego. Why would you try to go talk to them in a place where their ego is already elevated? 
Gotcha. So, I don't so think, you don't think it's anything that I'm doing, then that's just basically like what comes with the territory going, doing, approaching at those kind of spots. Yeah, I th- I think that if you worked on, where do you live? Oh, uh, I live in uh, Los Angeles. Oh, come on, G. Come on, G. Come on, G. You supposed to be L.A. Uh, you like ain't a person in L.A. Motherfucker, so, I take my fucking shirt off, go to fucking the beach. You can pull out. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? So I don't live exactly like in like L.A. The city I live in L.A. County. I live. I don't know if you know where Six Flags is in Santa Cruz, Valencia. Nah, I don't know. Oh, okay, been okay. Well, it's, it's like it's like about forty minutes from L.A. But yeah. Hey, it, but I yeah. Don't know. Why not move somewhere else? I mean, LA is, I, I'm not a fan of LA, but it, there's, a, there's plenty of opportunity to approach. You don't have to go. Oh, to absolutely. Yeah. I mean, even out here, even out here, it's next to the valley, next to LA. It's like, you know, close to a lot of things. So that's what um, I'm saying. There, there are plenty of opportunities for you to meet women, bro, that you, that you don't have to go in the worst. You, you, you trying to pull LA bitches at the club, bro. No, no, not. <laughs> you trying to put. You're trying to pull this, is, this is anywhere. So, like, to be honest, Faye, this is like anywhere, whether it's in LA, in my city, or that's why I want to come on, talk to you, you know, try and see, like, how can I, like, fix it? Like, what is there's something that I'm doing wrong? Like, okay, so I'm like there, I'm like right there, and then something like just kind of just shifts, you know? <laughs> listen to me. Okay, I'm listening. Your, your, your digital image is not on point because you're in fucking LA. There's mm-hmm. no way you can't use location. As why you're not getting bitches. Your location is at least plenty of enough women. So your digital image is not on point. You should be getting a lot of matches, right? You should be uh-huh. able to, because it's so populated, you should be able to be consistently attracting girls in person as well. Okay. You're not, you're not doing that. And you wouldn't need to go to the club. You can have, how much money you make, bro? Uh, So right now about 60, 60 K a year. Okay. At 60 fucking K a year. You don't have time to be going to fucking club. Yeah, you need to. I be, mean, it's every it's every so often, not like every weekend type shit. But okay, I, well, yeah, I, hear you, I hear you. Okay, but when's the last time you slept with a girl you were attracted to? Uh, I would say two weekends ago. Well, how'd you meet her? <laughs> At a club. <laughs> At a club. Okay, so the one before that. Uh, shot a bar. Well, how, how much time was it? How much time, uh, like I was like, what do you mean? In the distance between the last two, how frequently are you having sex? Is what I'm saying. Uh, so with those two right now, uh, probably like one girl is two times a week, another girl is once a week from the time that so that's basically like probably like three or four times in these last uh, two weeks. I'm saying in this year, oh, this how year, how often are you meeting new women? Okay. I would say, man, like every like other weekend, I'm, I'm meeting at least like one girl. I'm hooking up with at least like one girl. But and a lot of times, though, you know, it's a chick that I'm like, you know, it's like a seven. It's not something I'm like really like high attracted to, but you know. Okay. So, yeah. How much time are you spending at the clubs to attract a six or seven every now and then? Probably like an hour, hour and a half. Okay. So, how many? So in a month, you're spending about five hours at the club mm-hmm. trying to get some pussy. In a in a year, you're spending about sixty hours just at the club. That's if you're if you're only spending an hour and a half. Yeah, you may or may not be spending more time than that. Um, you're spending a lot of time, and the results are low. That means that your method yeah. is right. That's see, that's that's what I said. They, like the results. I mean, I don't want to like, I know, you know, you're telling me to like get out of that mindset, but like, it's just like so frustrating. Cause I'm like, I know like I can like pull this chick, but it's like something that like, I don't know, maybe she just, maybe it's just for attention. Maybe that, that was all just for attention, even though we hooking up and whatnot. And then not down after, or they don't hit you up after, because you know, maybe it was just all attention. Not, okay. like, bro, 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 yeah. bro, 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 a girl at the club hooking up with you, making out with you. First of all, why are you kissing hoes at the club? But a girl at the Damn. club, a girl at the club making out with you. How often do you think she does that? Damn, man, that's that's how probably, often probably, a girl, 
I know I, ain't, I, probably, I, I probably wasn't the first dude right. that night. Yeah, she's probably fucking drunk. How the fuck? She's she's such a degenerate that she's randomly hooking up with dudes at the fucking club, and you're expecting that to go somewhere. Damn. How? I mean, come I, on, I bro. guess uh, probably just comparing myself to to my friends and like dudes that I see, you know, that be pulling chicks back and shit. How much money they make? My friends, mm -hmm. uh, some a little less than me, but pretty much we're all around like the same. The one one of my friends probably makes the most one, but things like eighty k. Okay, see you see you see that circle. Mm -hmm. Your your environment is why you're the way you are. You just told me everybody around you is doing a little bit worse than you and maybe a little bit better. None of you motherfuckers are overachievers. That's why y'all are in the same position. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with some 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 mediocre motherfuckers. None, none of y'all are go-getters. There's no fucking way you were dealing with some dudes making three, four hundred K a year, and they'll be fucking uh, uh uh running back, running out the girls in the fucking club. Nothing in your environment with your group of friends is pushing you to do better. Mm -hmm. So y'all all doing the same shit. Y'all all are making around the same amount of money. Mm -hmm. And y'all all dealing with the same kind of girls. So your environment mm -hmm. is causing you to be this way. Um, you got to either change your friends quickly, bro. So, so did, somebody say, hold up, hold up, hold up. So ditch your friends for money? Man, you better get some better friends. The fuck? I'm not going to be... Man, y'all put this, the word friend so easily with people. I don't have that many friends. If you're not improving my life, I ain't yeah. you're not my friend. That's crazy. So um just to just to recap, I trust me, man. I, I hear everything you say. You know, I've been watching all your videos. Um, you know, definitely trying to get more of that mindset. You know, it's just for me, it's kind of like with just with practice. Um that's that's why I say I want to start like doing more day day approaching because now that I've gotten out of my comfort zone, like approaching those kind of things, now I'm really trying to challenge myself, do it, you know, do it during the day, you know, when, when I can. But, um, so you feel like, again, like at that point, then it's really nothing to do with you, which is just more of the environment. It's more of like, you know, it's not just the environment, bro. It's the environment is part of it, but you mm -hmm. have to start trying to attract women from everywhere else. Right. Stop right. To meet women don't just like, okay. That place. Don't just put, don't put all your eggs in one basket. I, I hear you. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. All right, thank you. Appreciate it, Fit. All right, bro. Have a good one. All right, you too. All right. So he brought up something I want to talk about. Um, I think a lot of you guys' as friends are the reason why y'all are mediocre. It makes sense, right? The saying goes, you're the sum of the five people around you. <laughs> Guarantee you, bro. Let's imagine you hung out with me. I mean, imagine, just imagine for a second, right? Imagine, you, do you honestly think, <laughs> how do you think your life will be? Let's say me and you were friends. What do you think your life will look like? Don't you think that you would, you would innately want to do better? Don't you think that you will want to be a better version of yourself? So think about that mindset with several other people. If three or four of your friends were all making millions of dollars a year, they were all in great shape, they were all attracting women, not chasing them, don't you think you'd be doing the same shit? That tells you exactly why you're in the position you're in. Your friends are bums. They, they're fr your friends don't, they're not pushing you to do nothing spectacular. Anybody that's, that's a friend of mine or we're cool I guarantee you, bro, their life is going to improve in some way. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm the friend that is like, I'm not gonna let you be a bum. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, I'll just stop fucking with you. Me and you stop being friends. Cause if I see that you're not always striving for more, I can't be friends with you. Right. So. Look at your surroundings. Look at the kind of guys that you're friends with and ask yourself, are these dudes 
hungry for more if they're not? Why am I with them? Why am I friends with them? All right. So first, remove your, yourself from the environment with dudes who are not better or not trying to be better. Telling you, man, there's something special about a group of men pushing each other. Telling you, man. Telling you, G. Telling you, G. Telling you. I'm telling you, 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 you won't, you won't know the kind of the capabilities you have as a man by being amongst other men who are doing the same thing. Why do you think men, men win wars and all this shit? You think it's just because they have strength? Think about wars, right? Why men? How men are so powerful when we come together? The world was created from a group. Literally, think about since the beginning of time. The world was created from a group of men saying, no, we want what the fuck they got. <laughs> and this is how the world was created. All the civilizations, all the countries, extremely ambitious men that came together to go take whatever they wanted. So imagine that. Imagine what is the possibility when you have other men that are also striving to be the same way as you, to be better just like you. Imagine what you can accomplish. Imagine what you can accomplish. Man, I had some bum friends, and right after I left them, I became a millionaire in less than a year. They always held me back. I'm telling you, man, that shit, that shit will accelerate your growth. 10x. I'm telling you, that's why I'm so big on community. All of my students, we're part of our community. We help each other in every single way. Like guys from all over the world, guys from all parts of the US. That shit is gonna force you to be a better man. You're not going to want to be the weakling if you have other men who are going after it. But if you are, you, you friends in, in groups with dudes who just okay with getting by, you're going to be okay with getting by too. All right. All right. Let's read the rest of the super chats. Guys, like it up, like it up, like it up, like it up, like the stream, like the stream. Next, 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 next. Back to the career, first time meeting them. I'm guessing you're asking me a question. Oh, okay, that was part of the question. My bad. Nismos Z34 with the five dollars. Advice on moving on, moving on from an ex, how to detach. You move on from an ex by becoming the man that women don't leave. If your ex left you, there was a reason you had some blame to that. She didn't think that you were the total best option because there's some dudes that a woman is not going to want to walk away from. She won't, she won't let you go. So you got to become what women want to be with. Who is the man that a woman wants to be with? All right. Go become the man that women don't leave. I believe Andrew Tate said that shit. That shit is so true, man. Go become the man that women don't leave. Okay. Let's bring uh, one more guy on here. Bass. Mr. Water Vapor. What's up, Water Vapor? You're muted. You're muted. You muted, bro. What's going on? Bass, what's bad. going on, bro? I got so many tabs on my laptop. What's going on, bro? Uh, so I, yeah, my question was about uh, the acrylics, like for your teeth, are they worth it? The what? Hollywood smile, or like. Um, getting acrylics for your teeth. Veneers, you mean? Veneers, yeah, you could say, but not the not the uh, clear ones, like the actual set of of uh, teeth. I don't understand what you're asking me, bro. Not the clear ones. What do you mean? Yeah, so like, there's a lot of clinics that would um, give you like a set of acrylic. It's their teeth that would they put them onto your teeth and it would look. Like a perfect smile. I'm not sure how it works, but a lot of people do. Why don't you just give veneers? 
veneers, uh, I guess where I live, it's more like a acrylics is what everyone's doing. So, you in the UK or Dubai? Which one? Where are you now? Dubai. People in Dubai definitely have veneers. They have it, but everyone's doing acrylics. It's called Hollywood smile. And it makes your teeth look perfect. So it's like um, a uh, Can you like, what is this shit called? Acrylics? Yeah. Acrylics. Um, Hollywood smile. Let me see. Yeah, if you search up Hollywood smile. And then it literally has like servicing. So you'd go like every five years or every. You every mean pop on veneers? If that's what you call them there, yeah. Like you just, you, you, you could take it out and put it back on. No, 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 no. They install them for you at the clinic. And then oh, it's, it's, hold permanent. Up, it's permanent. Then there's veneers. I'm so confused. Which are, So they're not pop on. You don't take them off on your own, no. You gotta go. But you can take them off. Yeah, if you go to clinic. And what's gonna happen if you take them off? Then I believe it's uh, then your regular teeth will show. It'll be back to your regular teeth. Oh, I don't. I I never heard of that. How much did it cost? Uh, it's expensive. It's like two grand, three grand. Why don't you just get veneers? Hey, I don't, I don't know. I'm just what the fuck? Looking at, I'm just looking at what everyone's doing. It's literally you got, you got to follow what everybody's doing, bro. You have to do what everybody. Jesus Christ! Let me do what everybody else. Everybody jumping off the balcony. Let me go do it too. <laughs> if you want to spend two, three k on teeth that you're gonna, I don't understand it. I don't understand. I don't know why you just don't get veneers. I guess it doesn't work as good. Like the veneers, they take time or uh, take time. Um, yeah, doesn't it? Like you, you keep them on and you take them off at night or something. Veneers? No, that's not what veneers are, bro. The clear ones. Okay, we're not talking about the same. Veneers are not. Are you talking about Invisalign? No, no, no. I'm saying not Invisalign. I'm saying I maybe veneers are the same thing. Yeah, I think you'd be talking about the same thing. I think veneers are the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you're veneers. gonna spend two, three thousand dollars on tea, I have no problem with it. Just make sure you get porcelain veneers. Okay, so it's not like um uh, it's not like something with insecurity or say no. uh, Okay. What? Insecurity to fix my teeth? That's insane. No, nah, because it changes your whole teeth shape. And, and it, it's like getting... To make you look up. better. It does, yeah. And these, these girls put weave, uh, Botox, lip filler, nose filler, BBL, boob job, fake nails, fake lashes. What? Can't fix your teeth? That's how they get you motherfuckers. They have you motherfuckers remaining ugly. Then they go fuck to do with the veneers. These women are fucking insane. No, 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 no. Don't change nothing. Keep being an ugly dude so I don't have to fuck you. Make it easy for me. The reason why you guys get this advice from women is so they want they, they want to make it easy for them to not pick you. I ain't telling you to go get a fucking uh, 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 ab BBL or you put fucking fake abs. But, bro, your teeth, something that people are going to see, like, make sure those are nice. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Women good. are savages, bro. It's crazy. Women, I have so much respect for them. I keep saying this shit because they, they, they refuse to not have their cake and eat it, too. I have to force you motherfuckers to have y'all cake and eat it, too. I got to fucking beg dudes. Bro, do what's best for you. Give yourself leverage so you can have options. Women are going to do that shit at all costs. And then they're going to they're gonna fucking shame you for trying to do the same shit. 
they're going to get all the fucking uh, uh, enhancements so they could get your ass and then shame you if you want to do it too. <sighs> hey, this round of applause, ladies. God damn. The finessing is unbelievable. Ooh, let us do all the finessing. Let us get all the options so we could pick the best male. But no, no, no. Don't do the same thing like us. Keep being a regular nobody so we can go. We can find the, the ball is easier. Man. Make yourself as attractive as possible, bro. Got it. Got it. All right. I had another. Uh, it's not a question, but someone proposed the idea of uh, doing the SMV for the girl. I was, I'm down to do that. Do you have a girl you want me to say? Yeah. Uh, but it's wait. just answering questions, right? No, we got to see what she looked like. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Like on the stream? No, no. Yeah, how are we going to know her SMV? <laughs> no, 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 that's okay. Okay, we're going to just guess her SMV? We got to see what no, the girl looks like? I remember when you were doing it last stream, it was more of like, how much money do you make? And like, No, bro, we got to see what her... The SMV one for girls is tough. I ain't gonna lie. Too, this shit is hard, boy. This shit is hard. The SMV one for girls? Too. Y'all think y'all was pissed off with y'all SMV. The girls one is tough. Well, we're gonna have to see. Let's see what she look like. I can't do that now. Okay, then don't no, worry. It doesn't ask like repel questions or is it? Yes, it does, well, including everything else. Let's see. Uh, I might do it myself. <laughs> not with you, bro. We're not, we're not doing SMB today for men. No, I'm saying, like, I'll, I'll go on the website. And ah, it. okay. So. Yeah, it's on it. They asked about fee. I'm going to show it to y'all. Hold up. Y'all don't believe me. Let me show y'all what the SMB calculator is for women. So if we go female, <laughs> uh, let's say, look, female SMB pick. They're not fucking around. <laughs> Danger zone. <laughs> Yo, okay, so they they give, bro. They not playing around, bro. They not fucking around. This shit is honest as fuck. So let's say we're gonna give her her SMB peak. She's in the danger zone around twenty. Yeah, pretty pretty, pretty fair. 26, she get in the danger zone. So let's give her 23. She had an SMV peak. Let's, let's call her Laura. All right, let's see what Laura's SMV. Looks. What's her looks? Natural face. Meaning makeup is necessary. How many of these girls are really beautiful without makeup? How many? How many? Not that. Let's be honest. Average looks. Makeup is necessary. Above average. Pretty. Minimal makeup is required. Seven. Of average. Pretty. Minimal makeup, minimal makeup is required. Extremely pretty is at 8.5. Model. Movie star looks. No makeup necessary. If this girl does not need fucking makeup to enhance the majority of her looks... She can't call herself no fucking eight. Get the fuck out of here. So let's say a regular 304 is a five, right? Average makeup. Let's just call her above that. Let's call her six. Right? Let's be let's be fair. Let's say she doesn't need that much makeup. <laughs> All right. Natural hair. Two shoulder length. A lot of these girls don't even have hair. <laughs> they have fake hair. <laughs> so Ooh, I don't know. Naturally short. Ooh, a lot of these girls got naturally short hair. Naturally long, that's very rare. All right, so let's let's just say five. All right. Damn, I don't even see a lot of girls with shorter length hair no more. Natural uh breasts. 
Does she have natural breasts? Small B cup. This shit is fucking rootless. I'm telling y'all, bro. It's just as fair for women. What is her SMB? So let's say you got a regular girl. She got a small B cup. Natural booty. Ooh. No BBLs. She kind of flat. Flat or saggy is a zero. Kind of flat is a 2.5. Five, just average, nothing special. Round and fleshy. Ugh, that's rare. Round and, fetch, round and fleshy natural is rare. Ten, apple or peach booty. Squats often. That's extremely rare. Most It's mostly BBL. So let's just say average, nothing special. Legs, average leg. Let's see. Bird legs or fat tree cells. <laughs> oh my fucking God. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Hey, yo. Okay, let's see what's the track star legs or sexy long legs groomed. Okay, let's see. Five, average. Stomach. Ooh. No lipo. No lipo. No lipo. Big gut, zero. Five is a slight pouch. Ten is flat. Let's say she got a flat stomach. Ooh, here we go. It gets worse. Yo. Oh, Lord, have mercy. BMI score. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. What's her body, what's her body mass index? Okay. If she's a 7.5 is around 25 to 20, 29.9. Underweight is a five. She's not, she has natural body mass index. Okay, that would give her a 10. Let's call her five. Or let's say, let's say, I don't know. What y'all gonna rate her? Obese. Most girls look like this today. So let's do five. Let's say she a five. Fitness, Whew. works out sometimes, five. Doesn't work out at all, zero. The majority of girls barely work out. Very rare you're going to find a girl that works out often. So we'll say five. Next, he keeps going. <laughs> hey, yo, feminine virtue, body count. Ooh, Lord. Ooh, Lord. Oh Lord, we might as well put this shit to zero. You you will find a if she got three to five sexual partners, let me know where she at. <laughs> so I'll marry her today. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. So five, we know that's ain't happening. We know that's a zero. Children, oh Lord, how many children does she got? Let's just keep it at zero. Let's say she has no children. Baby daddies. Let's say she has n- no baby daddies. Femininity. Balance between masculine and feminine traits. What is she? A lot of girls, man, they ain't, they ain't gonna be on a 10. Submissive, the man leads, supportive, gentle, tender, modest, nurturing, graceful. Good luck, good luck finding that shit. Balance in between masculine and feminine traits. We would naturally say most girls are zeros, right? Boss babe, independent. Don't need a man. Aggressive. Yep. Yep. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. 5.3. <laughs> so next time you're over here wondering if this girl is really a baddie, let's go. Let I want you to go to this SMB calculator and I want to see you make sure you go through all of this shit and see what her real SMB is and not what she's pretending to be. Can't have no fake nothing. Nothing. The moment you get a fake, nope. Nope. So, yeah. What will most girls rank? Y'all are obsessed with ratings. Because ratings are fucking realistic. Everybody rates you, motherfucker. Life is all about ratings. Your job rates you. Your fucking school rates you. If you ain't ready, you ain't shit. Life is all about ratings. Rate higher. Stop whining and crying. Yeah, that's just about ratings. Ratings. Yeah, motherfucker. Life is all about ratings. 
No questions about money. Exactly, because men don't give a fuck. We don't care about that. All right, so next time you're wondering <laughs> what a girl is ranked, go put this on here. And let's see what her real SMB is. And then you you can you can wake up wake back up to reality, putting her on a fucking pedestal. Because her section social market value ain't that high. All right. All right. Uh Yves Thiersant with the two dollars. Appreciate you, bro. My man Nismo, the five dollars. I left her because I caught her cheating, but I want to move on. Uh, I'm actually, what's the most effective way to do so? Sorry for not being clear. You call her cheating, bro. That means she didn't give a fuck about you. There's nothing you should be trying to even worry about moving on to. Don't deal with a girl who's fucking other dudes. Go be a man that can attract women who are who are not thoughts. Do you have to move out of your hometown to be successful? I believe so. I believe for the most part that your hometown is hindering you. You got to experience something different. At least go live in a different city. Spread out your wings a little bit and see how you how you fare out somewhere else. And if your hometown ends up being the best place for you, you can come back. But a lot of you guys are born, live, and die in the same fucking place. Not me. Joseph M. with the $5. How to fight the urge to not answer when the ex reached out after months of no contact, would you block her and leave her on red? Just block her. When you block people, you don't leave this opportunity for them to come back and either disrespect you some more, throw salt on wounds, or just make the situation even worse. Just block them. All right, guys, it was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the ratings, the messaging, the differentiations between attention whoring and and real girls guys the journey continues guys we're men we're the last of a dying breed all you guys on here you have something within you that is the last of dying breed real men are not even made no more a lot of guys are cucking a lot of guys are letting their girlfriends fuck other dudes they're watching other men fuck girls it's a whole bunch of craziness right but you can't give up you can't sit up here and just accept defeat you can't accept defeat, man. You got to do do everything you can to become a better version of yourself. And don't take that L just to take that L. All right? If you want better results with dating, you want my help, you don't want to accept defeat, click the link in the chat, man. Book a free call. Let me see if I can help you out, whatever you're struggling with. Um, And I'll get back with you guys next time. Click the link in the chat, guys. Peace.